So we've just arrived in Peterborough. Uh, today we are visiting a company called River Circle, uh, who've recently installed a, an XYZ 5-axis UMC. It's a really interesting story. We're going to meet with Jonathan uh, Theobald. They purchased this machine. This is their first 5-axis machining centre. They're a tool maker, so they're machining really, really hard materials. Uh, and I know they've been looking around the market for, for the last few years at 5-axis technology. Uh, so I'm going to meet with Jonathan and find out some of the reasons why his selection uh, was the UMC because we, we spent a lot of time last year with the guys at XYZ uh, talking about the new machine which has only been launched now uh, about 10 months and I know they've had some fantastic success with the model in the UK. Uh, this is the first installation we've seen uh, but there are a few out there and uh, yeah so it should be interesting so let's have a look here we are pulling up at River Circle now. Uh, this company was established about 35 years ago and I'm led to believe that Jonathan's been the managing director now for about 30 years, so um, he should be able to tell us a lot about not only the new 5-axis machine installation, but also uh, the business. So let's get inside and meet with Jonathan. So the first thing we see when we walk into the factory here, Jonathan, is this brand new UMC 5-axis from uh, XYZ. How's the machine performed for you thus far? No, it's going very well. 5-axis um, is, is new to us, um, but it's really settled well. The engineers are getting to grips with it and uh, it's earning its keep already. You say 5-axis is new to you, but you have been looking for a few years, haven't you? You're envious maybe when you've been at machine tool shows of what machines you could have. Yeah, that's right. They've always, they've always felt out of our price range. We've been doing uh, three and four axis machining, well, for, for 30 years. Um, and as you say, we've, we've looked at these machines, um, but they've never really felt to be in our price range. Uh, but XYZ have continued knocking on the door, uh, introduced us to this machine, um, and we've gone for it. And the type of work that you do here at River Circle, uh, Jonathan, can you, can you explain? Well, we have two main thrusts to our business. Uh, one is uh, special purpose test and assembly machines, uh, and the other is uh, multi-cavity rubber uh, and some plastic mold tooling. Um, so the, the, the five-axis machine will principally be used on the, the, the tooling side of the business, uh, where we're um, rubber mold tools for automotive applications, industrial applications, some pharmaceutical and medical applications. Using uh, hard, uh, hard tool steels, um, high-speed machining for, uh, for surface finish. And what was your expectation from going into 5-axis machining? Well, it was going to uh, improve our productivity uh, uh, on some of the existing tools uh, because of the, 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 the lack of uh, multi-machine setup, uh, but also should uh, uh, introduce new markets to us um, of pure 5-axis work. How long has this machine been here? Oh, we've had it uh, about a month. And tell us why the XYZ then. We said earlier that you've obviously been around a lot of machine tool shows, you've done a lot of investigation, not just in the last year, but in the last five years. This machine uh, was your selected choice. Why was that? Well, as a, as a designer and uh, manufacturer of special purpose machines ourselves, uh, we understand about machine rigidity, uh, the, the construction of the machine, bearings, um, etc. And this machine, with its uh, gantry style, um, and the support of the table, the rigidity of the machine, um, just looked right for us. I think that's a very important point, the very, very fact that the nature of your business is building uh, heavy duty, reliable machinery for industry. You know what makes a good machine, therefore you've adopted that philosophy when you've purchased. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that, that's absolutely right. And the gantry then, so why do you believe that that's got that, that rigidity? Well, for, for, for this machine to really earn its keep, we, we're not just going to be doing delicate five-axis work. Um, it'll be doing some heavy machining in, in three and four axes, and therefore having a machine that's, uh, that's capable of doing that is what influenced our selection. And the, and the table you, you mentioned earlier as well about the size. As a toolmaker, you're, 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 not, you're not doing small parts all the time, are you? You needed quite a big working envelope but not just a bigger working envelope, a table that was supported both sides for more weight too. Yeah, no, that's absolutely right. We want to put a, a whole bolster on. So uh, the, the table size of this machine 
um, for, for its price point um, is what persuade, another you know, big reason why we went for, that, for this one. And how often are you machining harder materials, Jonathan? Is that, is that regular or is that all the time? Uh, no, it really, uh, as the tool steels, um, that they're hard, very hard materials all the time. Um, but then for the fine surface finish, we actually do uh, after heat treatment, um, so we get a highly polished uh, finish. And so the high speed uh, spindle at 15,000 of this machine uh, enables us to do that. So you can look at this in two ways, really. You can look at rigidity, power, but also speed. Yes. Yeah, yeah, for, for the, the, the spindle speed uh, for that surface finish on, on the hard materials is very, very important. The, the option of having the hide and hang control was a big influence for you as well, wasn't it? Uh, it, it was absolutely key. Uh, we are a, a hide and hang control site, and in the past we've had one or two uh, rogue machines with different control systems, but they become the unpopular ones. We can't transfer people from one machine to another because it's a new control system. So XYZ uh, providing the, the option of hide and hang uh, it was really very important. And how important as well was it to you, the fact that this is your first five axis machine? And we must also mention here as well that you don't have any other XYZ machining centers in the machine shop. This was your first machine from them. It's a, it's a, it's a big investment. Uh, you need the support, you need the infrastructure that, that the machine has from the company that supplied it to you. Did that fill you with confidence and has that panned out how you would expect? Yeah, very much so. Uh, our, our engineers went down to the, uh, the Devon facility, uh, met Nigel, um, uh, and it's an impressive facility. They're, they're going to be here for a long time, and the support that they have given us um, has been excellent. And how quickly was the machine delivered from point of order? Because I know having machine, uh, being able to respond, you needed a machine, you got one quite quickly, was that right? Uh, absolutely, two weeks. Uh, we, I think uh, we were fortunate uh, that the stock machine uh, was probably a little bit of a higher specification than we um, we may have ordered if, if we'd had more time, um, but and, and, we, we, and, we did the deal. And, <laughs> and as a company, is this the biggest investment you've made in uh, machine tools? In a single machine, yes. And when you make an investment like this, Jonathan, you, you, you need to get your return. I mean, that, that, that's how the world goes round. But has it made a significant uh, improvement in your productivity in getting components off of, off of the machine or getting tools completed? Yeah, we're, we're already seeing benefits because we don't have to have multi-setup. Multi the bolster can go on, on once and, and, the full, uh, and the full machining requirement all done in, in one go. So we are seeing that, uh, that, that increased productivity, but also we're, we're, we're looking at more competitive lead times. It's also process reliability as well. If you're not having to take a part off of one machining centre, put it onto another, you, you've got much more reliability and security in what you're making because some of your parts don't look cheap. No, no, our customers are expecting micron accuracy and therefore not having to, uh, to, to do multi-setups. That's, that's what they need. And do you think that the rigidity of this XYZ UMC comes down to the, the build of it, but that gives you that micron repeatability? Because that's, that's very important in, uh, in your type of work as well, isn't it? Yes, yeah, uh, again, that, that gantry design, uh, the linear scales, um, that they're making it a, an accurate machine. <clears throat> And achieving microns in accuracy terms is important, but surface finish is critical to you as a supplier to your customers as well, isn't it? Yes, yeah, the, the tool needs to, to have a, uh, almost a mirror finish at times. And just tell us a little bit about River Circle, uh, what the business does and, and where you see the future now you've got this machine. I think what we're very proud of um, with the River Circle business is, is that we, we, we're able to provide a complete service, uh, design, manufacture, uh, fitting assembly, uh, electrics and control system. So we, we do describe ourselves as a, a one-stop shop for, for, for everything. We, we don't have to subcontract anything. So it puts us in, co in control of our projects. Um, we can guarantee lead times and hopefully that gives us that competitive advantage. And you've got, like you say, fabrication, el electronics, ma ma machining in this environment. You're quite a big, well-established company in, uh, in Cambridge here, aren't you? Yes, I mean, we've, we've been around for 35 years, which is uh, an achievement in itself in, the, in this day and age. Uh, our customers are, are first and second tier uh, major, major groups um, in this country um, and, and overseas. It's been a very good oversight of not only the business, but why you bought this machine, Jonathan. I'm going to go and have a quick chat with Steve, who is, is hands-on and he's actually making parts. So let, let's see what he thinks. Thank you very much for your time today. No, thank you.